In this video, I'm going to outline how we go about uh, using what's on. The first thing we're going to do is go to the Burlington Gazette URL up here with the ADA slash to ensure that we can get to the demo test page. When we get here, you'll see across the top that there's home, what's on, about us, contact us, privacy, and write for the Gazette. We're focused on what's on. We click into this and right now we're loading the Hunter Brown Robertson URL. What we're going to be able to do later is change this to be the URL for the Burlington Gazette. We would go under Add Event. We would describe the movie event name. This is a movie event. And you can type in whatever you want in this section here. This particular section here would be your event image. In this case, we click Browse. We'd go to wherever the picture is located, which in this case, I used the theater schedule you sent me with all the times. I would open it and it would automatically attach. It's important to know that there's only PNG, JPEGs, and GIFs. Nothing else works. We can set this to an all-day event, which will make all the other contacts disappear here, or you can select specific times that you would like to be able to set the event for. We now go down and we can set this to anything we want. It doesn't actually have to be a whole address like you see here with Harvester. Um, we can actually set the raw address for the maps as Harvester Road and then set it to Burlington and leave the postal code blank and it will still work. We can also put in a phone number here like we always do and we can show the Google map. Down here we can put the organizer's name and we can put their phone number and then what we can do is have the option to put the tickets either in this section here or this section down here which we can figure out later. This, I'll put it here for now because there's a dedicated section and we makes more sense to do that. Currency, we leave in dollars, we can set the amount that we want and then we can submit the event. At this point here, the event will say that it has been submitted and you'll get a confirmation. For us, we will go to a new tab and say hunterbrownrobertson.com forward slash WP admin and you'll be prompted to log in. The user credentials are Hunter Brown Robertson with the password I provided starting with the uppercase L and ending in the 1-3. You log in and we'll get to the dashboard. When we go over to events, we will get a page loaded that will say all the events that are currently up. We are looking for one in this column here that has a draft. Movie event 3, that's the one. We click at it. Once we're into this event here, we can confirm that all the stuff that we wanted is here, and we can also have the option of putting our in-house ad here. In this case, I went over to my Hotmail account to grab the item that you had in mind, which was under your attachment. I go in here, I would download an individual one of these, save the file as bgad3, doesn't matter what you're saving as, but it's just easy to have the right name. Add the media, upload the media. Now here we have the option to browse. We click select files, select the ad that we're looking for, open it, and all of a sudden it's loading. We scroll down the side here, full size, insert into post, and now it's there. We can also offset this to the right if we wish, just for, you know, uh, visual appeal and then we can go down here and hit publish. The f before that you just want to make sure that all this other information is correct down here and just look through absolutely everything. Your featured image which will show up in the main page will be over here. We then publish. We save that. Then what we do is we go up to the top here and we would load the main Burlington Gazette what's on page. The way we do that usually would be the back button. Uh, in this case here I have it set up in kind of an interesting way that doesn't really make sense which we will fix. But if I go back to hunterbrownrobertson.com, click on the what's on and scroll down here 
we're looking for movie event three. Now we have it here, we have the option to find out more, we have the nice big picture with all of the information, and we have our house ad that's very conveniently placed in there. From there you have all of your venue information and your map that you're able to move around, and then you're able to toggle back and forth between this event and any of the previous events using the all events function. Let me know if there's any questions. Thanks for watching.